Carnosaurs had the biggest amount of mega theropods out of all the theropod groups. In general, the bigger Carnosaurs were mainly Carcharodontosaurians, and within this group, the Carcharodontosaurids. One of them lived in the Chemchem group alongside Africa's two biggest theropods. A wild environment, yet it still managed to grow to a massive size. How did he do it? At a glance, I have no idea, so let's find out. Big T, start the show. This Carcharodontosaurian is a highly fragmentary, potentially dubious, but giant theropod of North Africa. This is the Sauroneops. Sauroneops was named by Andrea Chow, Marco Della Vecchia and Matteo Fabri in 2012. Its full name Sauroneops means Sauron's eye, after the villain Sauron from Lord of the Rings, with the species name Pachytolus, consisting of patches, thick and folos, round building with conical roof, in reference to the thick vaulted skull roof. The holotype consists of a fragment just above the eye socket. This material however is distinct from any other known theropod of the time and location and displays enlargement of the bone growth, something that may have been the underlying support for an eye crest display. The exact size of Sauroneops is impossible to establish with absolute certainty, but it was in all likelihood a large theropod. This idea is based upon the comparison of the Sauroneops' bone fragment with other more complete relatives as well as the simple fact that some of its relatives, such as Carcharodontosaurus, Acrocanthosaurus and so on are giants. Conservative estimates for its size are a length of 9 to 10 meters of 30 to 33 feet and a weight anywhere from 4 to 6 metric tons. Sauroneops lived about 100 million years ago in North Africa and the predators it coexisted with were no joke. The Chemchem formation or Chemchem group around this time really had 5 mega theropod contenders, aka theropods that could reach a size of 5 metric tons or more. These include the Sauroneops, Spinosaurus, Bariosaurus slash Deltodromius, the Osteoporosia and the king himself, Carcharodontosaurus. Big theropods such as these can only live with each other due to niche partitioning and their unique anatomical specializations. Smaller theropods include noosaurids, dromaeosaurids and abelisaurids. These guys could have made prey and the sauroneops could have gate crashed their meal and take the prey from them, because of its giant size. That's what I call brutally effective. And you know, sauroneops wouldn't have had a problem taking on juvenile or young sauropods or a nonifopod either. While ambushes would have been the primary hunting tool for smaller and or faster and swifter prey, flash grazing on sauropods is definitely possible for sauroneops as it is of course a big carcarodontosaur. Flash grazing however would only be a secondary hunting tactic at best and might have only been applied when an unorganized group goes on a rampage to make some food. For example, the Maposaurus gang and planet dinosaur. Speaking of the herbivores, sauroneops could have hunted, these include an indeterminate ankylosaur and an Pod, sauropods such as the Diplodocoid Rebachisaurus and further indeterminate sauropod specimens, with at least one of them being a titanosaur. Furthermore, the formation also includes Tapisharid and Ashtakoid pterosaurs, cartilaginous fish such as Onchopristus, ray finned fish such as Calamopleurus, lobe finned fish such as Neoceratodus, some amphibians including frogs, some lizards and snakes including an indeterminate Matsoid. By the way, this group being the biggest carnivorous snakes of all time, the plesiosaur Leptoclitus, turtles such as Gallianemus, and crocodilomorphs such as Aroripesuchus, Laganosuchus, and Lavocatchamsa. Sauroneops would have had a mid to upper end position in the food chain, which is insane considering the predators in the region. Sauroneops has been dated to the Cenomanian of the Cretaceous, meaning it could have died out with the Carcharodontosaurus and Spinosaurus, as the Cenomanian Teronian boundary was pretty much the end for these theropod groups. And so this was also the end for Sauron's eye. Oh, but I can't see what this is about. Everyone. That's it for this video, smash the thumbs up, the bell and the subscribe, as only legends do that and I know you all are. Also check out Instagram for fitness motivation and inspiration, as I'm on a mission to help more people get fit. Furthermore, you can also check out Twitter to hear my thoughts on all kinds of dinosaur stuff. And with that, I wish you a splendid day or evening. Goodbye.